Hey everyone, hi, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Um, if you don't know me, I'm Shelly. If you are coming back, then hi. Um, so what am I doing today? I'm gonna be talking through um, my TBR slash recommendations video for the picture of this readathon that I am running, running with Jack from Spread Book Joy. So I'm so excited because we are going to be diving into picture books this month. And if you don't know where to start, then this is a great video to watch. Um, if you are like, what, what is so magical about the picture books? I want to know, then hopefully my excitement and joy about talking through my TBR and recommendations, um, will, will excite you as well. Okay. So we have several prompts. Um, we have the prompt of friendship. So what made me think about the prompt of friendship is the rainbow fish, which is really all about sharing and the way that we, we treat one another um, and our friends. I cannot wait to read this. Oh, you can see my light. <laughs> I can't wait to read this with my kiddos. They, they love this book, as do I. Another book about friendship I have is Oliver Jeffers, and this is The Way Back Home. I love anything by Oliver Jeffers. This could also double up with the prompt uh, space because it is set in space. Isn't that just so cute? Um, I love everything that Oliver Jeffers does. He does a lot of watercolor illustrations and I just love every single bit of it. Um, now, when I also think about space, I think about this book called The Other Side because it is a wordless picture book and all of the imagery tells the story. And so he needs to be able to make a good use of his space <laughs> in order to tell the story, to tell a wordless picture book. Um, I would just highly recommend wordless pi picture books in general. So here is some imagery, some pictures from this book. The uh, writer and illustrator is Istav Banyi. Now for the prompt of quiet, I would actually read this book called And Then It's Spring. This is written by Julie Fogliano and illustrated by Erin E. Steed, who is a wonderful illustrator. Um, and this is a very, very quiet book, just, just waiting for spring to arrive. Just generally, any illustrated books by Erin E. Steed is a treat. Um, and so if you can find anything by this illustrator, I would highly, highly recommend it. So this illustrator here. So we have a couple of color prompts, uh, red and green, and one that would fit both the color prompts is one of the most famous picture books of all time. And that would be How the Grinch Stole Christmas um, by Dr. Seuss. Um, I love this book. I also love the animated version, the, the Dr. Seuss 25 minute animated version. I used to watch that with my class when I was a teacher um, the day before Christmas break. And it was always great fun. I love the music in it. And this book brings back just a whole heck of a lot of fun memories. Continuing with the red prompt, we have Mike Mulligan and his steam shovel, which was written and illustrated by Virginia Lee Burton. I would also highly recommend anything by Virginia Lee Burton. She has just an absolute perfection to her illustrations. She's thoughtful. She um, really ruminates on themes like uh, growing old or when something lacks its purpose um, or change in the world, um, change that is not expected. And so some Sometimes I think about her as somebody who takes these big, big concepts and just boils them down to a beautiful and sweet story. And they always, they always hit home for me. So I love this. Mike Mulligan and his steam shovel. This was one that I read with my dad when I was a kid. So this holds a very special place in my heart. Um, so as far as home goes, I thought about unusual houses like a lighthouse. And this is Hello Lighthouse by, so by Sophie Blackall. She wrote and illustrated this. Sophie Blackall is one of my favorite illustrators. And um, again, almost everything she does is absolutely gorgeous and this is no exception. She is an absolute perfectionist when it comes to her illustrations. This would also fit the red prompt because there's a quite a bit of red or there's a pop of red in it. So gorgeous. So gorgeous, you all. Other books that I would just recommend because they are phenomenal is Bark George, which is so funny. If you need a good little laugh or if you want a good little laugh with a young one, uh, I will highly recommend this. Um, and this is by Jules Pfeiffer. This could fit with this space prompt because Jules Pfeiffer is a very sparse illustrator. And so there, there's a lot of blank space on the page. <laughs> 
Um, I would also recommend this um, sort of cautionary tale uh, if you like sort of scary stories, if you like poems or books in verse, um, I would recommend this. So that would be The Spider and the Fly. And um, this is written and illustrated by Tony Ditzterlitza, Litzy, Litzy. I should have practiced or looked it up before, but I'm so sorry if I pronounced your name wrong. This is a theme on my channel and I'm really sorry if I've ever pronounced your name wrong on my channel. But anyways, a, a cautionary tale by Mary Howitt, which is all about um, the way a spider lures this innocent little fly into his, um, his web, which could be his home. And it, this, this is set in the spider's home, which is which is lovely. I'm doing a bit of a project within a project. Um, we're doing the picture of this readathon this month, um, which I am, of course, very excited about. But I'm also really excited about Caldecott winners um, or Caldecott nominees. The Caldecott is an illustrator award, an award that honors beautifully illustrated books. And so I um, looked at Caldecott uh, winners and nominees for the last four or five years, and I started just using my library to place those books on hold so I can admire some of their illustrations. Um, I haven't read them yet, but I'm sure I'll do a whole dedicated video about my thoughts about the Caldecotts for the last five years or something like that. But here was on the here's what was on that list, and here's what I've picked up from my library so far. So we have Bear Came Along. We have The Rough Patch by Brian Lies. We have Outside In, which is written by Deborah Underwood and illustrated by Cindy Derby. Ooh, The Undefeated. I feel like I may have read this before or seen this before, but it is written by Kwame Alexander and um, illustrated by Kadir Nelson. There, my lights, <laughs> my lights. We, all, we also have Thank You, Uma by Oje Mora. Thank You, Uma by Oje Mora. We also have, let's see, Double Bass Blues by Andre J. Loney and Ru Rudy Gutierrez. And then finally, I have Alma and How She Got Her Name, which is great because one of my dearest friends in the world is named Alma, which is so sweet. Okay, so that is it. That is what I'm planning to be reading so far this month. I'm so excited about it. Please tell me if you are going to pick up any of these books, what you're going to be reading for this month. I cannot wait. I know my recommendations were kind of all over the place, but I just love picture books and everything picture book related. So thank you for coming on me with this journey. I, I really, really appreciate it. Thank you for, for spending this time with me, and I will see you all in my next one. Bye, guys.